Today I'm going to try and show you the best way to wire a house for internet. So, you know most houses today have wireless, you know, it'll reach most of the house, but with smart TVs, uh, smartphones, uh, sometimes you just need a cable, an internet cable, connect a laptop, smart TVs, smart Blu-ray player. A cable is always better if you can if you have it available. So, just going to show you here the well the easiest way if you're wiring a new house. This would be the easiest way. So, pick a center location. Here we've got comms cabinet under the stairs, pretty central. So, there'll be no very long runs, but in an ordinary house, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, so. Again, you can use either Cat5 or Cat5e or, Cat or Cat6 cable. So I'll be doing another video on it showing you the pros and cons of using either or. So today I'm just going to concentrate on the best way of wiring it. So your main incoming phone line, it'll come from outside into a master shaft, normally somewhere in the hallway. So where coming from outside, straight in to the hall, normally into the hall, right? So we want to take a couple of cables, say two, three, two, or two to three cat fives, cat six, whatever you're using, from this main telephone point up to your main comms room. So from your main phone line, most people, their main phone socket, that's where their home hub will be that distributes the wireless to the entire house. But if you have 10 or 15 internet sockets around your house, cable back to a phone point, there isn't going to be enough room to connect them all. So if you take two or three cat fives, two should be plenty. Two will do a couple of lanes, a couple of phone lanes in. So two, just to be sure, in to your comms cabinet. And, and then move your main phone socket from there into the comms cabinet. And then from there, all you have to do is cable out from your comm scan. So take one straight say say to a TV, say you have a TV in your kitchen room, the kitchen dining, and you want to make it a smart TV. You leave that one cat five cable from your comms cabinet to your TV. Living room same again, you're gonna want you're gonna want a smart TV perhaps or even an Xbox in your living room needs an internet connection be positioned under your television. A uh, study definitely gonna need one in there. Definitely gonna need one in your study. So I'm just showing the TV point in the study here, but Uh, that's your three TVs. That, that will be an, inter an internet connection. I'll, I'll look at another video. I'll make another video and show you how to connect up at each side. But at the minute, I'm just interested in showing how to put the cables in, in place so it can be done at a future date. So there's our three televisions, all cabled for internet. So Say you want a point for a laptop, just put one. This is say the sofa in your dining room. You'll want a laptop connection, so put one there, one in your living room, place to connect your laptop, study as your TV. We put a office desk perhaps there. And again, you want internet connections at the moment. 
Got all the internet connection with all of these items. You may never use them, but as long as they're there, you've always got the choice. And Cat5 cable is relatively cheap, so you won't break the bank either. So, that's a typical. Wire led for Cat5 cable that should give you uh, maybe if you want one over and save an island middle of your kitchen where you use your laptop, you could run an island to there and then same again upstairs. I'll just do this real quick because I think you get the gist of it. Cables are run, there's a spot for the cables to run from below. Cables. You can have four smart TVs upstairs and no need for a wireless connection at all. And the beauty of it is, if you have your wireless downstairs in a room and it doesn't reach up to say the master bedroom here, you could utilize this internet connection and put a wireless access point which will extend your wireless signal to this point. So eliminate dead zones in your, in your house. So this is actually layered of my own house and this is well I have a few additional cables in not related to the internet but this is more or less the way I cable my house and it's it's worked out pretty well so far. I've never needed additional cabling at the minute. So I will be putting on another video showing you how to connect these up and the differences between Cat5 and Cat6 cabling, which one would be best to use. So, but hopefully this will let you away deciding where to place and how to wire your internet in your house. Thank you.